Hello friends, welcome back to Smart Study. In this video, I am going to discuss a puzzle with two parameters. So friends, the same kind of question was also asked in Syndicate Bank or uh, Canada Bank PO examination. I guess it is can it was Canada Bank PO examination. So friends, the question of level the level of question is not so difficult. It's quite easy. You can do it even if you don't have enough practice. So friends, try to practice these kind of questions before going for any bank examination. So friends, while watching the video, pause the video, try to solve the question by yourself, then continue watching the video. So without wasting much time, let's go ahead. As you can see, the question here is, A people P, Q, R, S, T, U, V and W were born in three different months of the same year. So there are eight persons. Those eight persons were born in three different mon months of the same year but not in the same order as given, namely March, June and December. So there are uh, there are eight persons. Those eight persons have got birth in seven, three different months. That is March, June and December of the same year, but not in the same order as given. So such that not less than two people, not less than two people in this is what minimum of two people and not more than three people. So maximum of three people. So not more than three people means what? So three people. So it means that so not less than two people and not more than three people means what? So it is two to three people. So three people were born in in a month. So it means that minimum of two two people and maximum of three people were born in each month. So because there are eight persons, so in at least in one of the months there must be at least two people and in the rest of the two months there must be three people each. So apart from that, each of them also like different fruit. So these eight persons also like different fruit. That is guava, peach, banana, cherry, mango, orange, kiwi and apple. But not necessarily in the same order. But not in the same order as given. So friends, here what we have to do here is there are three months. That is March, June and December. So in each of these three, three months, so these eight persons have got birth. So we need to find out which of these eight persons have got birth in each, in, in each of these months. And apart from that, one more information is given to us. That is not more than two people and not less than three people were born in a month. So it means that minimum of two months and maximum of three months can be substituted in each month. So mini, there must be at least two people in each month. So and maximum can be three people. So it, it is like that. So because there are eight persons here. So in any of these, I mean, in one of these three months, there must be two people only in one month and in the remaining two months there will be three people each. So let's try to solve it. As you can see the first information is only Q and W were born in March. So there are two persons that is only it is given that only Q and W. It means that only Q and W has to come and no one else has to come in the month of March. It means that only two people that is Q and W has to be in the month of March. So there should not be any person other than Q and W in the month of March. So therefore only Q and W were got birth in the month of March. So there will be no other person in the month of March. So it means that there are three people each in June and December. The next information is R likes apple and was born in the same month as T. So R likes apple and he has got born in the same month as T. So therefore, see our friends, we, we are not supposed to substitute any person in the month of March. It means that we can substitute R and T in the month of June or R and T can be in the month of December. But then we are not sure about it. So because we are not sure about it, I am just going to keep this information on hold. The next information is R was not born in December. So it is said that R has not got birth in the month of December. So if R is not in the month of December, then R has to be in June. Well, because we cannot substitute R and T in the month of March. So then only possible chance is, so June and December can be R and T. But then it is said that R is not in the month of December, then only possible chance is that R has to be in the month of June. So we know very well R likes apple. And T has got birth in the same month as R. So therefore, T must be here. Let me delete this. Why? Because it should not look messy. All right. The next information is the one who likes mango was born in the month which has 30 days only. 
which has 30 days only. So we know very well March is of 31 days. So June is of 30 days and December is of 31 days. So therefore the one who likes mango, the person who likes mango was born in the in the in in the month which has 30 days only. So the month which has 30 days only is June. So therefore the person who likes mango has to be in the month of June. So we can substitute mango either here or here. But then we are not sure where to substitute whether we have to substitute mango for T or some other person. We are not sure about it. So that is why I am just going to write this information here. So mango has to be in this month. All right. The next information is U was not born in the same month as T. So it is said that U was not born in the same month as T. So we know we cannot substitute U in the month of month. So again it is said that U was not born in the month in the same month as T. It means that we are not sub supposed to substitute U in the month of June. If we cannot substitute U in the month of June, we have only one possible chance that is Dece December has to be, I mean U gets birth in the month of December. The next information is S likes cherry. It is said that S likes cherry and born in the same month as U. So S likes cherry and he has got birth in the same month as U. So we know very well U has got birth in the month of December. Then S has to be in the same month as December, I mean U. So therefore S has to be in the month of December and it is said that S likes cherry. So cherry has to be for this person. The next information is V does not like mango. So V does not like mango but we are not sure whether to substitute V either here or here. Uh, so V does not like mango. Okay. So if V is here, mango has to be here. If V is here, mango can be in any of these two places. So but it should not be mango for V. The next information is the one who likes kiwi and the one who likes banana were born in the same month. So the person who likes kiwi and banana are have got birth in the same month. So kiwi and banana has to come in the same month. So see here friends, kiwi and banana is in the same month it is said. Alright, the next information is the one who likes kiwi was not born in the same month as W. So one, in, one thing we can see here is, so kiwi and banana has to be in the same month. So, but then we cannot substitute kiwi and banana for June. Why? Because, so mango has to be substituted here or here. If mango is filled out, suppose if mango is filled out in this place, then we cannot substitute kiwi and banana for only one person. So kiwi and banana has to be for two persons. So therefore, if kiwi or, I mean, if kiwi or banana is filled out, mango cannot be substituted here. So therefore, Mango has to be in the month of June because mango has to be in the month of June. We cannot substitute kiwi and banana in the month of June. So therefore, June cannot be for kiwi and banana. And again, it is said that the person who likes kiwi was not born in the same month as W. So kiwi, the person who likes kiwi is not is not supposed to come in the month of W. So therefore, W is here. So if we cannot substitute kiwi here, so only possible chance we have is Kiwi and banana has to be in the month of December. So why? Because if kiwi is coming in the in this month, banana has to be in this month. So but then it is said that kiwi, the person who likes kiwi is not coming in the month of March. So if kiwi is not coming in the month of March, then kiwi has to be in the month of December. So the only possible chance is kiwi and banana has to be in the month of December. So if kiwi and banana is here, kiwi or banana can be here as well. The next information is U does not like kiwi. So U does not like kiwi. If U doesn't like kiwi, then kiwi and banana has to be in the month of December. If U doesn't like kiwi, then we have to substitute banana for U. And only person left out is this. So kiwi has to be here. Why? Because we know very well kiwi and banana are have got birth in the same month. The next information is the one who likes gava was born in the same month as P. So P and Gava should be in the same month. See here friends, if I sub substitute P here, so Gava has to be in any of these places, but then it is not possible. So if I cannot substitute any person here, then it is not possible to substitute P here. So P cannot be substituted here as well. So only possible chances P has to be here. So it is said that the one who likes Gava was born in the same month as P. So same month as P, it is not said that P and Gava is 
is the same person so uh, uh, mostly i mean maybe gava has to be here why because the person who likes gava was not was born in the same month as p so p and gava has to be in the same month so therefore gava can be here so it is a possibility gava can be here and the same person p and gava can be the same person so gava can be here as well so gava and mango has to be in the month of june so gava has to be here as well the next information is q does not like peach so q does not like peach so we know very well mango and gava has to be here so if mango and gava has to be here these two places will be filled out and we have filled out with all the fruits in any in in, in six of these places then only possible chance is here so q, if q doesn't like peach so the only person left out is this person so this person has to like peach so the in, the next information is t does not like mango it is said that t does not like mango so we know very well mango and gava has to be in the month of june if t doesn't like mango then p has to like mango so if p likes mango gava has to be in the in this month itself right? because it is said that the person who likes the person who likes gava was born in the same month as p so therefore gava has to be at this particular place only one person is left out only one uh, fruit is left out so p q r s t u v w so p q r s t u v is left out v should be for kiwi and only one fruit is left out that is gava peach banana cherry cherry is also filled out mango orange is left out so orange has to be here so orange has to be here so this is all the uh, arrangement is friends so it would not take you much time it is quite easy because i have explained it i have taken much time to explain you so friends it must not take you more time to solve these kind of questions so try to solve these kind of questions before going for any bank examination so that you can crack any bank exam friends so i hope you enjoyed the watching this session thank you so much for watching have a good day ahead so before ending up this session i request you to subscribe to my channel like the video share the video with your friends and if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment box thank you so much for watching have a good day ahead